We're going to be installing bake snack or flashing bake snack uh, 1.2 and we're going to add a theme over the top. I've recently made a video with the Revolution Sense theme, but I'm going to flash a different theme just to change it up a little bit. The same principles apply, so you know, it's, it's not that um hard to do. Okay, first we're going to need to go and copy bake snack to our SD card okay then we're gonna get our theme copy our theme also to the your SD card somewhere wherever you choose to do it Okay, we'll give that a second to do that. Okay, we're almost done. There it goes. Come on, come on. Okay, now we got all that. We're going to close all this out. Okay. Close all these out. Okay, we're going to come over here to our phone. Okay. I'm going to do this a real easy way. We're going to power it down. Okay, power down sometime today. Okay, now we're going to hit power button and volume down to go into recovery mode. Okay, on recovery. Okay, we're going to go and wipe data, factory set, reset, go down. We're going to use the power to select it and volume up and down to move throughout whatever you need to do. Okay, delete all user data. Okay, we're going to go down to wipe cache also. Or cash, but I don't know how you say that. Whatever. Okay. Now we're going to go to install zip from SD card. Okay. Install zip from SD card. Hit that. Go down to choose zip from SD card. Okay. Go down and you find wherever yours is at on your SD card. Okay, go bake snack. Okay, you, and you're gonna want to flash the bake snack one two zip. Okay, power hit power to select it. Go down with the volume button, install bake snack zip. Okay, and it's gonna do what it does.
you're gonna have to uh, bear with me on the um, air conditioner but I had it off and it was hot as heck so I'll try to speak up a little bit it's doing its business right now And this is a 2.2 Froyo ROM. It's the uh, based off the newest Froyo ROM, the 3.26.651.6. The baked snack by itself is pretty cool, but you know I like the theme theme stuff. Okay, that's done. So we're gonna go go back. Okay, go back, go down to go back, hit it. Okay, hit power to reboot system now okay it's gonna reboot and sorry about the lighting too I'm not a professional cameraman I'm just uh trying to spread what I know around so. and this is the baked snack I guess this is the uh, boot animation like you know, don't worry about it. It's not real. It's just a boot animation. <laughs> so don't worry that something's wrong. I don't know why some of these people put these boot animation screens on here that um, have all these numbers and letters and all this stuff. It scares you like you bricked your phone or something. It always takes a little bit when you're switching from ROM the first time when you um when you boot up. It always takes a little bit, maybe like three minutes or so. Okay, there we go. And drag that down. It's gonna load again some more. For what reason I don't know, but it does. Charge only. Okay, load some more. Okay, just skip through all of this. We don't need to set up none of this right now. And it's going to load some more. And this is baked snack um, by itself with no theme. Um, it's pretty the same basically as to me the regular HTC. It's really smooth though. It is that. Um, it has black rosy on the uh, black custom rosy on the bottom. Um, basically everything else is the same. I mean the battery, you know, at the top is a little different, but. Um, pretty much everything else is the same. And this is not our goal anyway, so we're gonna 
go back, we're going to power back down. Okay. Because we have to install the rest of the stuff. Okay, now we're going to hit the power and the volume down to go back into fast boot or whatever. Recovery, hit power to go in there. You gotta install the kernel and the other stuff that's coming up. Okay, and go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card. Okay, go to wherever you put it at. Okay. Back in the bake snack, okay. I'm gonna flash the bake snack kernel, okay. Okay, um, I don't know if you have to reboot, but go down to go back and um, reboot system now. I don't know if you have to um, reboot, but I do it to be safe and make sure everything's installed good. It's usually a good idea to do stuff like it, especially when doing the Wii Max and the radio. You have to do the radio, let it install and finish, and then do the Wii Max. You have to do them separate. So I just do all of that like that. It takes a little more time, but it's better for a clean install. Actually, okay. and you know, I got the other theme on the other video, but I'm not gonna for big snack. But I'm not gonna um do that one. I'm gonna do a different one. That way, you know, we have two two different ones. Okay, and the power back down. Power off. Off. For those of you that have ROM manager, you can just go into ROM manager and, and go uh, reboot into recovery. It's a lot.